Well, we are on the final approach to Earl's house. Right, Dougies? That's it. We're coming on out to uh, see Eleanor and uh, bring her home. Yeah. I think we made it. We sure did. Let's see if we can get in here to get a big truck coming. <laughs> Right, ducks? Well, we made it here. Got my trusty old 4x8 trailer, and hopefully I brought enough uh, tie-downs to be able to tie Eleanor down on the trailer there. I guess we'll see what Earl's opinion is, but I think she'll get on there just fine. And of course, I got my babies. Hello, babies. You ready to come out of there? Let's go see your Uncle Earl. All right, we're here in Earl's shop. As you guys got to see about a month or two ago, I did get to see what the color looked like in some of the internal areas where it was sprayed on the dashboard and inside the trunk. But today's the big day. Right, Earl? Hey everybody, yeah, today is a big day. I get to actually see what this baby looks like. Yeah. All right, I'm going this way. Hey, Glenn. Yes. It's rain. Oh, hey, <laughs> you gotta tell David. Oh my God. Wow. Wow, it is shiny. <laughs> wow. I already got people bitching about the black engine compartment, by the way. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> You're not gonna see it anyway. It's gonna be covered in tar boards, but this is just, wow. Let me pull the camera off this tripod here. This is just, just amazing. Well, Glenn, it's good to see you here at Classic Car ah. Creations. Thank, Thank you for well. stopping in, everybody. Glenn is here. It's good to see Glenn and she is diamond green. Yes, and at the same time, welcome back to Duckman Cycles at Peter Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and this is Be McQueen. No, no, I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> no. I'm actually Earl. Just for you can Earl. Me into her, but no, it's no. Be very expensive. I don't I know. No. <laughs> so, everyone, it's a good day. It's a great day. Car is painted. And somebody guessed the right color. Yes, and early on too. We were rather yeah. impressed. It was, I think it was the first day the video wasn't up in an hour or two. Yeah. And he's the only guy that guessed the color. Yeah. And then the way we positioned the contest too is who was the most accurate? If you guess just the color, it's one thing. But if you guess right. the actual paint code, you're, you're going to want up. And if you guess something else like a little bit of the black you see around the edges or clear code over it, and then we bump you up even more. But nobody out outdid him. And nobody did better than he did. Right, nobody did. No, we did get a lot of replies of Christine Red and yeah, stuff which, like that, which was funny because we were never going that color. And we said that. And uh, we had, <laughs> uh, also when we pre-shot the fenders, that was that Challenger color or uh -huh. something, and people and I was like, no, that's not it. Hey, Crash. There's Crash. Oh, she's, in the video, <laughs> she's just in the corner. <laughs> she just laid her first egg, and you'll see yeah. that in this video too. No uh, eating. Rather, hey, what are you going to eat? So, anyway, everybody, here's the color. It's diamond green. We got a nice, perfect match in chroma base. This will go home with Glenn. It's a half gallon of it. It has a shelf life that is pretty much infinite if it's stored at 75 degrees. Florida. <laughs> yeah, Florida. We have a cabinet here, so it kind of seems good in here, but it's up to you now to put it on your shelf in your house and keep it in a at room temperature. Put it in, yeah. I was gonna say refrigerator, but you can't do a No, you can't do a refrigerator, it's not good, but uh, room temperature is excellent. So, everybody, everything that goes home to Glenn. Thank you so much, Earl. We got Crash still wandering around. Yeah, here. Crash is gonna stay with us today. She's, uh, she's gotta keep us company. Extremely active, she was in a, in a car ride for me for like seven and a half yeah. hours to get over here. and. Um, she was real bouncy and acted real crazy, and it turned out it's because she laid an egg in her box, and she was just really excited to get it out. And the first one for her, well, most animals usually the first one, the hard one, and this turns out uh, didn't seem to be a problem for us. So hopefully, we get some more. Now she's six Fair months practice. old. She's gonna be six months old wow. in the next coming weeks. We celebrate the day I brought her home, which yes. is March 26th. So yeah. technically, that would be her birthday, I guess you say. Even though it's not really the day she passed on. So on the 26th of this month, she'll be six months old. Amazing. 
and we'll celebrate her half birthday. Like you say, it's cute. It's amazing how time <laughs> flies. Um, today. Speaking of how time flies, we did have this car for two years. Yeah, two years and a um, month. Yeah, and a week. <laughs> so what slowed us up? If you ever look at it real quick, we'll go oh, right yeah, now we between the, the rolling, pandemic right? and personal right. things, oh. and personal things on our end, and then us going solo with the job for a while, and then plus every other car that has to come through. Uh, yeah, she got shooed in pretty good, so not too bad. So much has happened. But a lot did happen. And, and respect to a lot of people that had problems that were probably worse than even what we had yeah. to deal with. Uh, you know, it's been, it's been a really difficult time. Yeah. But, that's behind us now, and um, Eleanor is here, mm -hmm. and coming home very soon. Very soon. Very soon. And it's exciting. Well, you know what? We have a winner in this contest. Yes. Do you think we should list them off now, or do you want to talk about the car some more first? It's up to you. I think we should discuss it now, because people go okay. to the bottom now. Yeah. Everybody you know what? We'll do it right after the intro. Licky, <laughs> likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bug the ding bell. You can get updates every time I put a video. Check out DuckShape.net for all my different social media links. Check out DuckShape.net forward slash CCC to get you two classic car creations to see whatever Earl is working on, including the Eleanor Project series. Yeah, so from there, we'll be back right after that intro. And we're back. <laughs> We promised that we would give everybody yeah. the contest winner. And I hope he's watching, because he has been following along the project, but I don't see his name pop up too awfully much. Let's see here. It is from a YouTuber, it goes by the name Visible, or Vstable. Mm -hmm. He said, I've said it since the beginning, but here it is again. I think it would look kick ass in L412, the color code, Diane Green. It's an original 1956 color, and yes it is, in fact, yes. that is Eleanor's original color. So original color. For those of you that bitch about it, that's the original yeah. color, so you can't bitch about it. <laughs> and it's likely what the car was brand new, and he's right. He actually nailed it. I don't know if he nailed, nailed it all longer, but just yes. Nailed it. I think it would look absolutely killer on this car, and he was absolutely correct, because yes. it does. It does. This car is just, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Um, of the people that watched the video today, Wild Bill, for example, he watched it, he had total freak out. Yeah. <laughs> he started to see the color, I started yeah. to see the sheen that it has. It was he funny, was, uh, we, we had an Easter egg in a couple of videos, and we called it a diamond in the rough. Diamond, get it, kind of thing. Yeah, and then yeah. there was like, almost, you could almost see something. And you it, could see something. You, could yes, you looked real closely, <laughs> little, 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 it was little, there, little. it was there. And I'm surprised nobody picked that one. Because nobody, nobody ever pays attention to what's I, going I, on. I, I tried, tried to. <laughs> Do that, and then I have a picture on the wall because we were doing contouring of the body and everything. And that car, lo and behold, was green, but not diamond. It's not the diamond green. It was yeah. not diamond green, but it was the close. It was also not clear coated. So no, it's that. not. No. Well, no. And that's so. what separates this one from the stock 56 yeah. diamond green beetle. Uh, stock ones don't have the clear clear coats, so single yes. stage paint. So they're shiny, but they don't have this depth of, uh, of uh, sheen to it. And it's just, this is gorgeous. I want something that stood out, and this one does. Yeah, very pretty color. Um, it was a nice color in terms of coverage. Covers in three, really nice. And uh, the, it's very consistent. One thing is so vibrant with the metallics inside, you can look down into the layers of the paint that we did. So uh, it's pretty, it's got a little depth to it. But what's nice is consistency and uh, it shot pretty good, considering the weather we've had this year. It's not been a, a rain out, it's just been enough to rain and they get super humid during the day and it's been mm -hmm. very consistent this, this past couple months when I painted. But uh, we closed the booth off to shoot the car and uh, we had no problems. But it is toasty as yeah, you can tell uh, right now. It's very, very hot in here. Yeah. Yeah. I usually change twice a day because I'm usually melted by noon time on my lunch time and then I, I'm like, ah, go get another set of clothes. And, Make sure I hot, you know, hydrate so I don't get kidney stones. Yeah, I'm uh, only 20 minutes in here. I'm already soaked through my clothes. Now. Uh, of course, it's really you're nice not lizard people. <laughs> Sitting in the air conditioning in the car it was yeah. quite uncomfortable. Yeah. But then I came in here. It's rather hot. Oh, yeah. the, the sky clouded up and it started raining. But you say that's what it usually does. It, but it's been temperature amazing. crashed as soon as I got here. Yeah, I yeah. felt the difference in the air. Yeah, and it's amazing. But of course, that damp air makes for um, a blushing paint. You yeah, gotta be very careful. We were within our parameters. Uh, there was moments like when I come in here in the morning, it's about 84, then it drops to about 70. 
Um, the best we got it here in terms of humidity for shooting this was 61% and it was about 108 at one point in the booth here on the downflow. Mm -hmm. So it was like as I was shooting it, she wanted to kick real fast as I'm pushing the heat down from the top of the building. So uh, it worked really well. Explain to us what the blush is. Um, it's like if you take a rattle can of uh, black paint and you're in a humid, like if you shot it at night, it would actually wipe over, it would go milky and that can happen with clear. Um, we've seen that happen, so when you, yeah, you don't want to do that. So you want to be a low threshold of uh, below 78 is our maximum threshold before clear actually starts to get a little funny. So you don't want to shoot in 100% uh, humidity or anything like that. Temperature, it's not a big deal because temperature can be negated with the activator. So if we use a 1, 2, 3, or 3, that's gonna fast kick it. If we use a 1, 2, 3, or 5, which is a higher number, it'll delay it more. And also we can over reduce if we need to. Now sometimes the blush will dry out of it, sometimes it stays. Yeah. Sometimes it even makes it clear for a grill. You gotta be careful. So, yeah, so we really had none of that here. Clear. That's yeah. the least of my worries. My worries with this car was when I shot it panel by panel, which I had to do, I had to make sure I went over everything to make sure it looked as good as we can get it. Uh, because uh, we found a lot of little this and a little bit of that and then on the roof when I was ready to shoot it I was like I got some die back on this thing So we had a little bit of die back on the rails in the center of the roof where the stitch weld was So we re-blocked 320 down real nice and just guided the block over I was gonna and, ask and, 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 it, and it left and it went, it, just, it went away and then I was like we're good You're good? You're good. The car is beautiful. I mean the She's dome on the roof hard. is just consistent yeah. It has, it just, yeah there's none of this like there was before <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, to do a before and after video was really uh, uh, would be an amazing transformation. If, even if you put some video content of it when you get her back home, uh, when you do assembly from where she was to where she is, it's, yeah. it's a night and day. I'll do a but, uh, five year montage. But you know, car about five years. So what's, we'll stuff together. what's really nice about this car is I can vision your vision. Yeah. That's not a common thing. You got to see it at the end before you can do it. That's why I saw this car where it is now. It took time, but. You know, good things come in time. Now, some folks are probably going to ask why I put all the black stuff underneath, and the answer is really simple. Some of the places um, you have kind of a shadow box effect, and when you put such a light color paint like this under the fenders, I think it looks terrible because you can just see the inside of the fender and all the dirt that gets in there is just extremely obvious. Yeah. I didn't want any part of that. I want it to be nice and black underneath, and uh, the other thing with black paint is it's cheaper. <laughs> That's way <laughs> so cheaper. Whatever, uh, it, it, it meant, uh, it, it made the project that much cheaper for the areas that we weren't going to see that weren't even a big deal. And some of the areas were like underneath the gas tank here, up under the fenders, and in the engine compartment. The engine compartment is extremely dusty, and it will get very, very dirty when operated. In addition to that, what are you eating? Don't eat that. My phone's ringing in the other room, of course. Oh, yeah. It's just going to have to wait. <laughs> okay. The edge of the car will be covered with tar boards, and around the edges sometimes you'll see the paint color come through and it just doesn't yeah. look finished. Yeah. So black on black, it, it blots that out so you won't see it. So this car is it's just gorgeous. I can't wait to see what all the body panels on it. Yeah. That's going to be something else. Yeah, pretty much what I'm doing next is tomorrow she's, you're going to see content of me raising the car up, and then I'm going to go underneath and shoot the rails underneath her, and I'm going to let it cure for a day. So that puts me into Wednesday. Wednesday I will have Lee and I'm going to try and upload a little bit more consistently on our channel because we delayed two months because we wanted to take care of this footage first. Um, it was a priority to us. So anyway, with that said, after we do that, Lee will be polishing some panels mm -hmm. and then um, when I'm done here, the car goes over and we final the car together in the next building. So that means it gets even glossier than what you see here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is just out of the gun and done. Uh, most areas, actually, I won't polish. Very little orange peel. Yeah. Very little. Yeah, laid out really good. Yeah. The, the, really the nice way you do that is you keep the gun at a shorter distance and you do a 50% overlap each pass. Okay. And I use a soda jet gun it's a reduced pressure gun it's a very expensive gun but it lays really nice and i'm very familiar with i've shot many cars so knowing what i'm going into and knowing where i was positioning to, to shoot the car it just laid like no problem so basically i backfilled the back window first then did the front fill in and then i swept across and then went to the other side and pulled the dry edge off the other end of the car. Ah, okay. You don't want to start here and stop here and start oh. there and stop there in the middle. You'll dry, dry edge the center. Yeah. <laughs> so you want to immediately get over to the other side and pull the dry edge off the end. What so a dry edge is is that spot that's not glossy. Yes. The paint just kind of leaves like a mist. Yeah, surface. and you don't want that. It'll no. look really bad. It's a, it's a bad eyesore. So, uh, but uh, no, we had no issues on the paint. Phone's ringing again. Somebody really has a heart on the top. They really do. I bet you it's Rob and it might be an emergency. So I probably should be taking that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> very good. Let it ring just a minute. We're gonna so, have this video. Very good. So we have a winner. We have a winner. Vistable. Yep. Reach out to either Earl or I. Yep. Uh, you can contact me through my website, dougshit.net. Click on the contact link and you can email me there. Or you can send me an email directly to dougmancycles at dougshit.net. Yes. Or you can hit up any of my social media links that are on my website, dougshit.net. Don't ask how to reach me. Please do not post anything in the comments. This is something you have to talk individually with me because you got to give us your address because yeah. we both have a prize for you. Yeah, we do. Two prizes involved. So two prizes. One of which is a Dutch Dutch shirt. Cycle t-shirt. Are you going to do a Too Far Gone shirt too? Ah, uh, wasn't the plan. I need to actually redo it. I, want to do I like that shirt. Well, the, that, that shirt I, I don't wear in the shop because the shops we wear in, in here, we destroy them. Uh -huh. So it's a shirt I wear on my off time. So I... It's one of those things. It's hard for me to switch when I'm in work process, so I I don't want to ruin a shirt. Mm -hmm. So what no. was the other prize? Um, a hat, but not this hat. One of it these. would be that hat. That hat. Yes. So actually, I'm wearing the full the full bit here. Check that out. Except you won't get a sweaty one. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you want one. I mean, it's a sweater graph. Please <laughs> <laughs> reach out to us. Let us know your size. Of shirt and hat comes universal. So yeah, even fits yeah. on my big ass head. And actually, you know what? It's the, one of the best fitting hats we like I've it. ever owned. It actually it sits, sits properly yeah. over my head, snug, but it just form fitting, even for this watermelon head of mine. <laughs> New Jersey people, it's yeah. What are you gonna do? I got the same egg head here, so. Oh, the egg you're pointing on top? Oh, I don't know what it is. It's just, it stinks getting old, you know, besides the eyes going, the ears are heading out, the look like can't hear crap, and then, you know. I my, my test, by the way. You I don't need glasses either, right? Yeah, I do. I, I need them at this point. And especially, what's really bad though, working with eyeglasses, mm -hmm. it's hard to put a body line in now, because you're seeing a different, it's, it's screwing up the actual, what you're trying to do. It distorts the body line, uh, so it's really a pain in my neck. It's tough. Well, what can you do? Like, you like, eat, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to plug that dingle bell. Yeah. You get updates every time that I upload a new video. Or upload to yes. yeah. Check out dubshit.net for all my different social media links, as well as Earl's website. Well, not your website specifically, but your YouTube channel, dubshit.net yeah. forward slash ccc, will take you directly to his YouTube page. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Like um, today we're, we're good here. Uh, tomorrow's another day. Uh, we're just going to raise her up a little bit, do the underpinnings a little bit, clean up, and then Wednesday Lee will be here to do some polish work, and then she goes over, and uh, we're going to start putting carefully on the doors, and then after the doors are in place, we'll put the hood on. And that. Oh, it's right down the side a trick of the <laughs> yeah, it's, it, Those are tricky. They got to go in a certain way. Yeah, you got to kind of. You got to you got to finesse them in. Yeah. So it's like go, no go, no go. It's I'm like taking them off a few times. I know I need to even change them since. So they're, they're, they're <laughs> gonna be fun. So hit them where they lie. That's so, it. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you everybody. We'll see you next time. Well, as you saw, little Crash and Boomer made their way out of their boxes to chase me, but. I noticed in Crash's box, she made me a gift. It's her first one. Your first Eggie. It's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. But it's your first one. It's allowed to be. I see you're eating some of the chips and things I gave you. But you made us breakfast tomorrow, huh? Look at that. Good baby girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> Not quite six months old. About two, well, you know what? She might be about a week short of being six months old. First egg doesn't even have her whole mask on there yet. If you look in front of her eyes, you can see the pink is starting to show through there. That's new as of the last couple days. So, we got eggies. Good baby. Okay, go back in your box. Okay, put you here. I'm gonna put you next to your brother. I think what happened is she climbed on the edge of it and just flipped yeah. over. Yeah, well, she has been hurt. Yeah, I think she'll be okay. She can fly pretty well. All right, you two, you gotta let me make a movie. I gotta make a movie. Time to make a movie, be good. Don't bite.